In this video, we will learn about earthing. Earthing is the most crucial part of domestic wiring. Because of good earthing or grounding, we can handle electrical equipments safely. If the body of any equipment comes in contact with the live wire, then there is a risk of electrical shock which may be fatal. So, the earthing is done to avoid shocks. If we have to define earthing, earthing or grounding is the process of connecting the body of an electrical equipment to the general mass of earth by a wire of negligible resistance. So, the equipment which is earth will be at zero potential. The whole purpose of earthing is to ensure that all the parts of the system are maintained at earth potential always except the live wires. Earthing also helps in protecting high-rise buildings from atmospheric lightning. Now, there are two different types of earthing. Two popular methods are pipe earthing and plate earthing. At first, let us learn about pipe earthing. The process of pipe earthing starts with digging a 30 cm by 30 cm hole with a depth of 4.75 m. This hole should be minimum 0.6 meters away from the foundation of building. Now, we take a GI pipe of 38 millimeters diameter and 2 meters in length. The pipe is sliced at one end and it has holes at the bottom end. This pipe is called as earth electrode and it is buried in the pit. The pit is filled with alternate layers of salt and charcoal. Now, to make electrical connections, the earth electrode is extended by another GI pipe of 19 mm diameter. At the top of this extension, we connect the earthing wire with bolt, nut and washer. A special arrangement of pipe and a funnel is made to pour the water and make the soil wet around the earth electrode. This wet soil can handle large leakage currents. This is required especially during the summer season. The earth wire taken out will be connected to different electrical equipments. This is all about pipe earthing. Now let us look at the second method, the plate earthing. The process is similar to pipe earthing. However, we use a copper plate instead of GI pipe as an earth electrode. The copper plate of dimensions 30 by 30 centimeters and 6.35 millimeter thick is used. It is buried at the depth of 2 meters below the earth's surface with its vertical face. The earthing wire is sent through a conduit piping and it is bolted to the copper plate using bolts and washer. The plate is surrounded by alternate layers of salt and charcoal to reduce the resistance. Even in this method, the pipe and final arrangement is done to pour the water which makes the soil wet. The wet soil increases the capacity of earth electrode to handle larger leakage currents. In both the methods of earthing, the surrounding layer of common salt is about 30 mm thick and the charcoal layer is about 80 mm thick. This is all about the different types of earthing. To sum up, we learnt about the definition and importance of earthing, the methods of earthing such as pipe earthing where we use galvanized iron pipes and finally plate earthing where we use copper plates. This is the end of module 3, single phase transformers and domestic wiring. Relearn and master all the concepts. Also explore our other courses and continue this exciting immersive learning journey with us.